Respawn Entertainment's first game launched last month and it set out to be different to other shooters in the genre, but has Titanfall successfully done this? Titanfall is a very different FPS and this is mainly due to two factors that are very different from other games such as Battlefield and Call of Duty. This is firstly the way pilots move and secondly the Titans. The player plays as a pilot that both has the ability to wall run and double jump. This feels very different from any other shooter and has been polished very well. In most situations when you are fighting an enemy, it's always good to know that you do have the ability to try and escape and lose them. The movement aspect of Titanfall is very unique and makes the game feel completely different from other games such as Battlefield and Call of Duty. Now moving over into the Titans. Titans are a very interesting addition to a multiplayer only game, but they are definitely welcomed. At first it may seem that having a Titan is overpowered compared to playing as a pilot, but this is simply not the case. Due to the movement of pilots and every pilot having an anti-Titan weapon, it doesn't feel like Titans are the most deadly thing in the game. In most cases, you will last longer as a pilot than you will in a Titan. Titans feel like an extension of a pilot, however they suffer in movement compared to a pilot, as pilots can only wall run and scale buildings, and Titans can only dash. Hey, this site's a visit. That's Charlie, this one's Bravo. Even though Titanfall is a multiplayer only game, Respawn has included a campaign mode to play with other players online. There are two campaign modes, the IMC and the Militia. This mode however is lacking in any real story, even though there are short cutscenes at the start of the battle, the game still feels and plays like a normal multiplayer match. This is a shame as the concept of Titanfall would have made a very interesting campaign, one that would surely be better than that of any Call of Duty or Battlefield campaign. There is also the fact that you have to complete each campaign in one sitting, which is 9 matches. You are unable to leave or disconnect or anything like that and this makes the campaign even more frustrating as you are awarded new titan shells upon completion of each campaign. Due to this, doing the campaign feels like a constant chore and the whole concept of Titanfall would have made a really interesting normal campaign and it's a shame that Respawn Entertainment decided to go another route instead of implementing a normal campaign. The maps on Titanfall have been well designed and most of them are very fun to play. However, there is frame problems on some of these maps and this can really affect the game drastically, and this is something that's experienced by all players in the match. But the interesting thing is the maps that have this frame rate problem keep changing. One day one map will only have 30 frames per second, and the next day it'll have 60 frames per second, and another map will have the 30 frames per second problem. It is unsure what causes this as of yet, but I feel it feels like the game could have been more optimised to fix this problem. As with most multiplayer only games, there's always usually a problem with servers, however Titanfall seems to be very different in this regard because the servers for Titanfall have been great. The ping, even if it says 180, still feels like a normal 50 ping game and you can't really feel the lag, and for most of the time, there is no lag whatsoever. There is also now Australian servers available for Titanfall where the ping is around 40 all the time which is amazing. Respawn Entertainment has successfully made a different shooter which is both enjoyable and unique. It's a shame that it does fall down in some areas such as not having a proper campaign and some frame rate issues. I am giving Titanfall an 8.5 out of 10.